It's a little happy cloud. Hey there, everyone. This is Cow playing uh, CLDC 2020. This is take two. Uh, what with yesterday's take being eaten by my microphone audio not being recorded. But you know what? I think this might be good. This is, uh, I forget which place, but Marcus, I can't see it uh, on this one. It's because normally my files, like they're all, like I have the, the placement and the name. But this one I don't. It just says 50 MSUI. I think it's like the um, the file like the judge has actually received. And uh, it says MSUI because it is one of two hacks that use MSUI. Yeah, so there's a secret. So yeah, so yesterday's video took me a little under an hour to do uh, both exits. But I did the normal exit and I ended up giving myself a couple of checkpoints. And secret exit was done with checkpoint spam. Absolutely. Um, and my general vibe for everything was that it was a lot of fun, but it is hard and it's a bit long for its difficulty. But the difficulty is very setup based. So I'm thinking that honestly with the... Uh, yeah, look, it's, uh, it's a joke. The moons here, they stand for something else you might think about. That's legal here in Canada, so it's all good. Don't worry about it. But yeah, I'm thinking that I might have a better appreciation for what a level is or does because that's the thing. By virtue of understand, like, like it's like, you know, when you're playing a setup based level, that is hard. The difficulty is understanding these setups. Why am I doing that? I'm going to use a safe state anywhere. Uh, because for one reason, at strict safety guideline, this does basically a great job showing this off here. We're at the sawmills, and we got these radishes, and then it's just gonna spell out exactly what's going on. Please not use the A or B button for your own safety. You can't even, uh, hold it ahead. I tried that yesterday. Uh, should you do so even impulsively? That's right. Well, you know what? I'm gonna show up. Here you can jump fine. But if you go inside this pipe, now you're in uh, the, uh, the construction site, you press the button, that's where the cock co comes over and just kicks you in the butt immediately. And yeah, you can't hold it ahead of time because as soon as you come in, the cop is gonna come over to kick you and it's very rude. I'm gonna give myself a checkpoint here, just so I don't have to go through the intro every time I die. <laughs> like... I still expect to die a lot and just replaying the intro constantly like it's still kind of a pain So yeah, for example here you gotta be mindful about where that guy is or you might have a problem So it's a don't jump like it's a don't even press the jump buttons level You got platforms you got set up and you got to make it to the end while your main verb the main way you typically have fun in playing a Mario, uh, unavailable to you. Uh, here we gotta have to hurry. That's what the fuzzies looks like. And, uh, I don't know why I thought I could make it there. <laughs> an answer is any. Ooh. That's fire. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so, that's a thing about this level that I, I feel... You know, this is accurate to what I think. What a weird thing to- weird way to say that, but... At times the level does feel extremely built with the purpose of killing the player. Like, lots of just like small placements where little things are gonna get you if you're not like particularly careful. And it's pretty frequent, like it's basically the level in a nutshell. And, you know, that can get tiresome. Like, you know, you're never allowed to... Like, you got these safe areas, yes. But it feels like you're never really allowed to rest. Why am I so bad? Whoops. Level also includes... <sighs> Dude, how did that happen? What does it include? I don't know. But yeah, we've all heard it, like, five times at least. But I don't know, it is... I just cannot parse the speed of these guys, it feels like. Why did I do that? What the- I don't know, man. The timing of all the little guys is kind of not great for me. Uh, dude, why am I bad? This 
wall of fur and chalk-like outlines. See, it's... Z now just do it in reverse. You're allowed to go all the way here. Alright, that doesn't go up. It does go up. How did I miss see that? Man, like, the timing is just not ideal. Alright. This is what I mean, like, the level is just kind of vaguely rude, and it's just... There's things to kill you everywhere, just incidentally. And, uh, apparently my attention is just, like, not there this morning. Wow. There you go. Hey, pro oh, I remember this part. I remember this part being like super scary because like, what are these saws even doing? Like they're hopping, and then you know like you got you kind of have to go there. You just gotta outpace them. Just outpace them. Get out of here. Down there, there's shenanigans for a dagadon. I don't need a dagadon. Yeah. That guy's just mad hoppison. That's his name. I think these guys can just go. I think they can't actually hurt you. Okay. So we are where the key is. We're not getting that, obviously. We're going to do the secret exit last. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! I, I could have just gone, actually. And I believe the midpoint is, like, right underneath here. If, um... me, Jimmy, that doesn't move. Okay, we did it. We made it to the midpoint. A victory for us. And I remember this angel block killing me so many times. Now I don't need to feel like I need, because like, see, here you just start back here and it feels great. So I'm gonna just start normally again. But this angel block setup, I don't know, stepping on this block, a it's things like that happen. You just like, you will not stand on this thing. Like, I don't know what are the rules of interacting with an angel block, but I don't know them. Ah, okay. Cool. So now we're here. Yeah, so here we just dodge that. Here we got, just, just go. This isn't, there's a blue pipe there. That's for the secret exit. No, you know that. Here's just a bunch of stuff. Taking up room, taking up space. Just go. Just go. That's fine. This, just go down a layer. It's fine. I feel like I spent a lot more time in the second half, which is why maybe I might feel more aware of this. This part is just like impossible and I die all the time to it. So, you know, that's cool. There, I did not mess it up and I'm very happy to learn that. Uh, these plants are shell proof. They will not be hurt by a shell, by the way. Is there any ways to know that? Not really. <laughs> it's just a thing you need to... Shoot! Okay, well this setup, you just stay here and you're gonna be okay. As I clearly demonstrate it. This is really cool, but very scary. Here you go here, and you're like, yeah. And then you just go zoom, and then you just wait. This is wait, that's, that's, that's kind of the problem I feel like with this level. Sometimes you just wait, that's fine. Hey, more Captain Fuzzy Face in the Realm of Limes. Realm of Limes. This film in a tropical New Yorkish situation. That's what that is, obviously. Look at that very obvious blind spot of madness. I could have gone there, but I didn't. You know, the smart thing to do is to do that. Just get out of here, everyone involved. There you go. That's how you solve this situation. And here's what I call the Mountain of Madness. I forget why. What? Well, I didn't get far enough, so I died. But here there's just so much stuff. Like, there's just so much stuff ever. 
God. No, I... Like, just bouncing on a little guy is hard, because if you mess up, you fall in the little ditch where he lives, and you can't jump to get out, so you're dead. Like, just that part, I feel kind of hard to time. And then you add a Lava Lotus, it's like, I... I just kind of get paralyzed. Like, I don't... yeah. What? Whatever. Really, whatever. I'm here big, which is exciting. Which means I'm probably just gonna get hit here, actually. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I want... Okay. So what did I do different than typical? I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure. Is this relevant in any way? Like, I can't glide. I, I can thwack things, though. But I can't glide, so... And, like... Most ops... Honestly, I feel like this is going to be a temptation more than anything. Because I'm gonna want to, like, glide. But anyways, whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh well, I took a hit. That's fine. Alright, so, hey, I've been here before. Just time a thousand hundred things. You go very slow on these. This is super close to the end, by the way. God. See, if you get stuck here, you just... If you don't get the bounce, you just get kicked because you can't jump. I guess that's the way to go. You go underneath that guy. The the lava spout number two. No. Eh. Death kick. You can do that, by the way. Like I'm not sure how you can get underneath the second. You died. I've never been able to kill you. Why did you die? Wait. The first time I went here, I beat it on my first try. But then I died and... Further times I arrived here. Because it's just, it's it's not easy. Here is like, okay, so here you get like... Fuzzy time, happy cloud. Right? But then you got that saw over there. There's no safe areas, really. Everywhere's gonna kill you. Ah! I'm starting to have less fun, so, like, I'm just taking that as a sign. I'm just gonna help myself out here and there, just to be able to move on. Because, I, I mean, I did beat it before, too. So, this. This is how you do it, kinda. I get no benefit. Okay, then. Alright, this is a good spot, probably. I don't know. Yeah, like, it's... It it's a- I feel like what's happening is the ha it's the same thing that happens the last time. Like, every individual- hey, did it, you're big. Every individual part, I feel, is cool and interesting, but it's, it's just too long, and I just lose the will at, at some point. It's like, you know, it's too much. It's just too much. It's a lot. <laughs> The level is a lot. It's a pretty demanding level. And they cite like like the, the the major parts are all really rad. It's the fact that so often you die from the little things. Like the things that feel like they shouldn't matter that much. And I don't know. I don't know, that's my vibe. So if I do that, then I should be able to go here. I can go here and not die instantly in the same way I died last time. Like, there you- so, like, I feel like for most of the level, you have the chance to just kind of, like, read. Here you don't. It's like, hey, check it. It's like, alright, I check. I'm dead now, but I check. Don't- don't you worry about it. Guess that's how you do that, and then you panic? I- probably without the panic part. And there you go, it says exit. I don't know if you can jump again or not. I'm not taking my chance, and I'm just going. So, yeah, uh, same conclusion that I came to yesterday. Level is really rad. It's just, it's just too demanding to me. It's just, it's just, it just asks a little too much. And at some point, it's like, okay, I get it. 
I get it. It's cool. So I'm going to safe scum my way to the key, and then I'm gonna skate, safe scum my way to that uh, blue pipe, and uh, I'll see you guys there. Hey, wait a second. Wow, hey, look at that. Is that gonna matter in any way? Not really. Like, being big is kind of an obstacle because I have to duck here and it's like... Uh, you know what? Alright, we're at the key. So, very simple to get. You do that, you do that, you get here. It's like, whoa, extend the world. And then you do... Uh, and then, okay, so here you gotta be careful. Because if you get a midpoint, I don't think you can go back to get the key. And I think that's kind of... But I, I think you're supposed to hit those. But there is no world in which that's happening. Okay, so that did not happen yesterday, though. Ah, stupid everything. There we go. Take your time, like that. I'm glad to be big, because that means I can just tank a hit to get to the, the pipe without having to try to, but being able to do the, ah, pat at the mill, never mind, I just messed it up royally here. Well, I might not make it, so let's see what happens, because uh, I would have had a lot less trouble. Oh, what? Oh, okay, I forgot about that. Go here, then you kind of like fall here, but that didn't work. I mean, the strat is just get there big. So you're here now, and like, okay, well, now you gotta go in between the saws, so do that. Whoa, I got kidnapped, but that's fine. Alright, so. Here's where I died a hundred thousand times. It's okay. <laughs> so, I think you can see what's happening here. And, okay, so yesterday, for whatever reason, I don't know why. I suspect it's going to be the same today. I... Cannot read where it's safe from the saws. Like, yeah, you get like friendly coins and whatnot. Doesn't matter. I don't know why. Like, it's the same issue I reported with the fuzzies earlier, I feel like, that I mentioned. For some reason, I just don't really read where the saws are in space. It's very strange. There's like no logical reason for that. But it is what happens. And it's very disconcerting. But it just means that I just kind of constantly die, and every time I'm like, oh, but... Like, I understand, like, you know, it's safe where the saws dip. Like, it's very logical. But, I don't know, man, my brain just... My, I think my brain is attracted to the spots where the saws... Whoa, I died so little less, more, less time, though. That went a lot more smoothly than yesterday. I feel like my brain is attracted to where the lines dip upward, and it's where my brain wants to put me. But those are the places where it's dangerous. Like, it's just kind of funny. So yeah, strict safety guideline. I love this level, but I feel like this level is also a bit of a chore to play after a while. <laughs> uh -huh. But I do love the moment to moment. If it had a checkpoint, like every two screens or something. It would probably be too easy, but I would have nothing but good things to say about it. So take that as you will.